I realize that we really have made progress in our profession. Um, people are getting jobs and they're not just getting any old job, they're getting jobs that they're passionate about and that they want to do. And I started my own business, now it's called Nips Optical, and I make all the, mostly all the lenses for, for my dad right now. Yep. And you've been doing that how long now? Almost two years. Yeah. Being part of my business, Dr. J's, um, optometrist is what, optometry is what I do. Um, we would all like to have our own, uh, our own lab, and what that brings to my practice is, um, flexibility with patients coming in that with their many kids what we're doing right now is they can get a pair of glasses today and saves them cost, saves them time, um, especially someone who's never worn glasses that's needed glasses for um, be able to see in classrooms and that kind of thing uh, uh, just is a, is a big plus in, in a practice like mine to, to be able to, to say hey you can pick out your frames today and to be able to walk in the back and Nicholas can make you a pair of glasses in basically less than a half hour and Nicholas uh, you know, took the rest of it and developed his own practice uh, inside of my walls and uh, Nick's Optical. And he's done a nice job. It usually comes out like this, so it can fit the frame and stuff. My idea came from a Special Olympics yep. uh, when all the nations came to Ames, Iowa. Yep, that then was, what, seven years ago? Seven years ago. And then there was one of those machines there, and then I got that bug in my head. And yeah, you know, did. So, so basically, how much money did you have to borrow on this? Um, $35,000. And how long, with the assistance of the PASS program, how long will it take you to pay all that off? Uh, they said three years. Three years, which is amazing. Well, as, as Nick's mom, it's most important to Jay and I that uh, all of our children become independent as they grow up in life. And it's been real exciting for us, for Nicholas, to be going through this program because every, every step of the way we're figuring out that this is going to set him up to be independent as an adult. And we will continue to provide whatever resources and assistance we can, but we know that there's going to come a time when uh, Nick's independence will be so important for him. And I think he's headed in the right direction, and this is truly a program that can help him be a guy all by himself, making ends meet. Is this one supposed to be, Nick? Those ones, that, those ones that I did, yeah, have no access. Yeah, uh, I sit down most of the time, but today I'm standing up. I started working with Lori about three years ago when she was really looking into the possibility of becoming self-employed. Out of that, the job I'm on now. She had brain surgery uh, and then that kind of causes short-term memory issues and Lori had been a person that had been on disability for over 20 years. Really she was pretty depressed and had a hard time really sometimes having a focus and having a purpose in life. So in the course of talking, found out that she had started a uh, locksmithing course. And so through our kind of discovery process, we had uh, her continue on and complete that course. We've been fortunate because we were kind of in, in the discovery phase and going out and doing what we're call, we called key cutting sessions. And we went into little different communities and just kind of set up at a, at a gas station or on the street corner and opened the back doors of the truck and a chance for people to come up and meet her and she would duplicate keys for a dollar, a simple key for a dollar, to kind of let people get to know her. And from that key cutting session, we happened to go up into uh, a tribal area up in Nebraska, and it was probably one of the best experiences that we had. She, she, everyone was so welcoming, saying, 
we need somebody like you up here. And uh, it was just a fantastic experience. And out of that, Lori has been able to get a tremendous contract, a life changing contract. Um, by the time it's all said and done, we're estimating right now about $80,000, which is just incredible. Here's a cylinder right here. And then when we take it apart, we put a follower in there, just a little tube, so that the pins up here won't come out. And then we repin the bottom. And these are high security, so this is a master key system. It means there's two sets of pins in there. One key will open all of them, and then the other key for this unit will only open this unit. So they're kind of nice. A little time consuming, but it's a lot of fun. We found an ambulance, a used ambulance that had under 30,000 miles on it that was perfect because she wanted to be a mobile business. And as a female locksmith going out on the highway to a rest area because somebody locked their keys in their car, you've got to be worried about safety and safety concerns. Well, you drive up there with an ambulance and turn on the lights and you light up the whole area. Uh, these are nice little towns. There's not another locksmith for 40 miles all the way around me. So I go over in the hills and do a lot of traveling. It's real interesting. I really, really like it because it's not the same thing day in and day out. You know, right now it seems like that because it's the same job, you know, but every job's definitely different. And so by working with people who want to be entrepreneurs, they have this sense of they can start to take control back and they have a dream and they have a goal. And if we can work together and map out a plan, then they take control of their life again and have an opportunity to change their lives. This is my mailman right here. Cause he always gave me mail all week. Yeah. Because Emily is so social, we knew she needed to be in the community. We knew she needed to talk. And the only thing we could come up with was a coffee shop. Independence had had two coffee shops. They both had failed. But what the heck? <laughs> no, I've done sillier things before. Tables and chairs. Downstairs. The building was built in, I believe, 1928 as the newspaper office. And then in, I believe, the 70s, a gentleman purchased it from the newspaper office as an insurance office. But he didn't do anything to it. He left it in its original state. So when we came in, we gutted it. I told her she has to make lunch today because she don't have pain on her actual hands. There you go. There isn't much in independence as far as employment opportunities with pe for people with special needs. Chocolate? Yes. And one on top, if they want it. Whipped. Topping. That's right. So basically... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just suck a little tiny bit in. Right? Mm -hmm. This 
playing the music. My dad. Yep, and dad is providing music from noon to two. Yeah. And you've been busy entertaining and chatting with customers all day long. I'm proud of you. Long day. Long day. Uh, and the, the group, we dress in purple, we wear red hats, and we just have fun. We don't uh, work for a cause, because uh, we do that in a lot of other organizations. Uh, well, we have been waiting uh, for it to open with a lot of anticipation, and uh, we inquired, and they said they had a room that we could use, and so uh, we came and we're, th we're their very first party. Well, we went for our training. Those are all drinks that we learned how to make. A lot of it's teamwork and everything. I mean, as far as drinks go, I usually do the milk. Emily does espresso. Susie's right behind us grabbing pitchers and cleaning up after us. Um, if it's, I mean, if we're having an off day, it's just kind of chaotic for everybody. I mean, if one person's off, it's just a mess. <laughs> so um, we have our good days and we have our bad days just, I guess, like everywhere else. Um, I really like it. It's much better than my old job. I love working with Emily and Susie and Bo, and it's just very rewarding. Okay, you can go ahead and cut in. Here you go, Em. Right across. I wanted I wanted them to be in a first rate environment. I wanted them to sell first class products and I, I just wanted it to be first rate all the way around. No, why does she do call it? Peeps. Peeps. We all have our own name from ducks, chicks, and peeps. Her employees are being paid minimum wage, so they are paying taxes. Yes, very much so. They're tax paying citizens. They're going to make it on their own. Thanks for coming. You bet. Thanks for coming. I think that sheltered work will go away because those are the people. It's not on their radar. It's not um, one of the choices on the menu. They want inclusion. They're persistent, they're tenacious, and they know that they have something to offer our community. I think the options are changing for people. So what's a regular job? I don't know, but I think all people can work and I think all people need to work. They have that right and they have that responsibility to participate in our communities.